Okay guys, uh, welcome to this episode and in today's video we've got um, three coins. Uh, we found a bunch of buttons and um, yeah, just carry on watching and uh, you will see my finds from today. So uh, enjoy and uh, sit back, relax and grab yourself a cup of tea, coffee, whiskey, roll VT. <music> everybody and uh, welcome back uh, to the channel the screw detectorist um today uh we are back on my first spin mission on a very very misty day in the highlands um so yeah i'm back uh at the first spin mission in my last video i was here i decided to come back again today and so we're going to see what we can find today if anything at all hopefully we can find something decent so i'm going to head up over to these uh, uh fields just behind me where i've not really uh, been before too much um, at the top of the hill I have and that is where I found over 40 coins um, so we're hoping for something half decent today with a bit of luck so uh, fingers crossed so just very quick intro um, that is me and we'll just get on and uh, we see what we shall find today so fingers crossed let's go okay guys so uh, this is uh, pretty much the first decent signal uh, not too far probably about uh, 50 feet if that um, and I've uh, I picked up uh, some scrap just down there, but this signal was it wasn't really it was a wee bit dodgy for some reason. Um, I've been getting a lot of those late recently uh, where the signal's been a wee bit dodgy. But now it's out the ground. It's like seventy two, and it was pretty deep. It's probably about ten inches down. Um, so I've just dug it out, and it's the first coin of the day. So first proper hole, um, I've got a coin. So uh, let's take a look and uh, see what it is. So as you can see, it's just popped out here. I don't know what it is at the moment. Um, still clogged up, um, but it looks like it's in probably decent condition. It's probably George V, I would imagine, because uh, get a lot of those. Um, let's have a, a wee looky. Can we see Britannia? We can see Britannia. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's a nice big one penny. 1938. 1938, you can see that. That's a pretty decent uh, condition, that one. That's not bad. And who have we got on the front? Is it going to be Georgius? Georgius. Is it the fifth, sixth? Sixth, George is sixth. That is, that is not a bad. That's not a bad coin, actually. Uh, yes, George, George is sixth. Is it the fifth? I can't see. I think it might be the fifth, actually. Come on, Ryan, sort it out. Sixth. Just trying to work out the date. Nineteen. Is that thirty-eight? Yeah, thirty-eight. Should be, should be George V. I think. I think that might be a VI. So it's a sixth, isn't it? So I can't see it properly, but yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. It's a nice coin. I've again. This is another little pathway that I've taken before heading to the field. I'm heading to um, scan it plenty of times. So uh, yeah, it's always worth going back over um, your permissions <laughs> in different directions so uh yeah got ourselves uh our first coin of the day which is uh which is pretty decent so uh yeah i'm happy with that so we'll uh, get that in the finds box and we shall carry on walking uh through the gate just up here and then we'll go into the big field the big field has got quite a big slope to it so what i'm going to do i'm going to be a bit, a bit more uh how would you uniform and how I'm going to scan the field. Usually I just randomly just like walk anyway, but what I might do, because it's on a hill, 
and I walk up and down it, up and down, and then go up because going up the hill and walking back down again is, can, can be quite hard work. So if I walk sideways um, along the field, um, then it might uh, it might be a bit work a bit better that way. Plus, there's um, there's some power lines, very small power lines that go across the middle of the field as well. So I'll get a bit of interference from that usually, um, but uh, we should be okay. Anyway, um, let's carry on and see what else we can find. Okay, folks, so uh, it's been a while since I got a, a decent signal, but this one came through about 3840. Um, so I've dug it out, but I don't know what it is. It looks, uh, looks quite interesting. Um, let's take a look. Uh, still got some mud on it. It's got some spiky bits on it. I've got a clue what this is. What is that? Hmm. Interesting. What could that be? Is that off a bit of decoration or how unusual? That's uh pretty weird looking. Um let's just get uh let's get the brush on it. Right. What on earth is that? Ah, there we go. That looks a bit random. Could be decoration of something, off of something. Could be a thistle, possibly. But uh, yeah, it's copper alloy. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty thin. And it came through nice and bright. Um, so yeah, if anybody knows what that may be, um, then uh, give us a shout. Uh, in the comments, but uh, it could be a thistle actually. It looks like a the bottom top of the bottom or the top of the thistle, uh, potentially. Um, but uh, yeah, what do you reckon, guys? What do you reckon that might be? So yeah, uh, decent signal. I've got a shotty just down there, but I'm not going to show you all the crap that I find. Uh, but that's uh, that's quite interesting. Uh, we find so uh, anyway, we'll get this filled in and uh, we'll carry on. Right, okay, so I've just uh, come across uh, a 1718, it's really strong. Um, so I've decided to dig it, I don't usually dig those kinds of things, but it's actually it's actually pretty decent. So looking at that, looks like we found a nice wee button uh, just here. It's a nice one. Not got, um, hasn't got the shank on it any longer, but uh, yeah, that's a really nice uh, nice button that is. I found a couple of these on, the, on, this, uh, on this land, very similar to this. I think you might call them a tomback bun, I think. But you could put me right. Um, but yeah, this uh, nice little button. Sweet, <laughs> carry on. Hopefully you can hear me at, uh, I'm on top of the hill just now, um, where I've found a lot of coins in the past. And I've been over this area so many times, so many times. I just got a signal come through 48, 50 or thereabouts. Uh, wasn't expecting anything to be decent. so. I've just dug it down there. Looks like a coin. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. If you can just about see the green just there. Uh, there's the uh, wee imprint. Let's get this out. And see what it is. Probably a Victorian. Looks like a Victorian penny, but uh, you can see where it was in the the ground. Let's have a let's have a wee look. Is that Victorian? What's that? It was very worn. It's a, it's a very worn coin. Can't quite see. Is that Britannia? There's Britannia on that side. Can we get a date? Can we get a date? Uh, no, can't see a date on it. Um, but to me, that does look like a. Sticky Vicky, quite possibly. Um, yeah, so it does look like a Victoria's very worn, very, very worn. 
I can't see any detail on it, but I think it is. So, yeah, all cool. There we go, folks. Second coin of the day. Um, not doing particularly well today. I've scanned quite a bit of the field, but uh, it's not coming up with the goods today, unfortunately. But hey ho, such is life. But yeah, coin. Another coin add to, add to the collection of the 40 something I've found up on top of this hill, uh, which is pretty decent. So I uh, can't complain, but uh, let's get this filled in and uh, we shall carry on. <laughs> okay, guys, so uh, just come across another signal, but my God, it was dodgy. Like it, there was, I don't know if there's iron around here or something but it was dodgy um but it turns out it's another coin uh which is kind of cool so i don't know if you can see that just just here look uh probably another possible victorian one maybe or was it a george v it's george the fifth is it i think it is i think that's a george looks like a george half penny to me, got a bit of a uh, Britannia on the back there. It's not bad condition. There we go. Just about see his head. That's there. There we go. George V. Half penny. Another coin. Third coin of the day. I don't know if we could get a date off that. Just uh, rub the bottom without ruining it too much. Can I see a date? 1920 something, probably. Um, yeah, looks like 1920 something. But yeah, cool. There we go. Another another coin, third coin of the day. George V, half penny by looks at like 1920s. Um, can't. Still can't see the date on it, but uh, but yeah, it's a coin. It's a coin. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, that is me done for the day. Uh, just like to say thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you got some sort of enjoyment out of it. Um, not the most exciting of days I've ever had uh, metal detecting, but I found three pretty decent coins um, and one manky one on the way back down the hill, uh, just just there, which was uh, which was unexpected. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it. But I'll show you my finds uh, from today, which is the three coins and uh, a couple of buttons as well. And uh, that was pretty much it for today. But I might come back tomorrow. Uh, the weather's meant to be actually decent tomorrow. And then we're heading into for some more rain and snow and sleet and God knows what else. Um, so, yeah, always make the most of the weather um, when we've got it. Uh, because, yeah, tomorrow it's going to be a bit crap. I mean, tomorrow it's going to actually gonna be decent. And then the following days are going to be a bit crap. Um, so, yeah, thanks very much for watching. And I'll uh, just show you um, what I found. These are the three of the best finds today. I've got some... Uh, some old buttons, but uh, not worth showing you those. Um, so yeah, we've got a, a possible, I think it's Queen Victoria half penny uh, just here. Um, not much detail on that, it's quite smooth. I can't see a, a head on it, um, but if I clean it up, I might be able to see something. Then we've got a George uh, the fifth half penny as well. I think it was 1928 or something along those lines. Um, but yeah, you can see his head pretty clearly there. Um, and then we've got this George the sixth, um, one penny, uh, which is uh, in not a bad condition. Uh, is that 1938 or thereabouts? Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, that's George, George the sixth. So uh, yeah, not too bad. Um, three coins for today. Um, it's always nice to get a coin. To be fair. Um, so yeah, that is the state of my finds for today. Okay. So uh, yeah. That's it. That's the finds for today. Three coins, uh, pretty decent. Um, I can't complain. Coins always nice to find, um, and a bunch of uh, bunch of buttons, a couple of buttons, uh, a bit scabby. 
and, and a scabby coin just on the way back down. But that is pretty much it for today. But um, I'm hoping to, say, as I said, head out tomorrow with a bit of luck. Um, and uh, yeah, that I will probably see you in the next episode, or you'll see me um, in the next episode, which is a, a week today. Uh, so today it will be Sunday. Um, so yeah, every weekend, every Sunday at 6 p.m. UK time and 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern time for the US, I will release a new video. So I have got enough footage um, coming up uh, to keep me going for a number of weeks. So uh, hopefully you'll have something to watch for the next number of weeks. Um, and that is me pretty much done. Um, that is all I've got to say. Uh, if you don't mind, I would really appreciate it if you can give me the thumbs up. Um, some people do forget generally to uh, forget to give them thumbs up. I do it myself. I'm a culprit. Uh, but yeah, if you can remember to give us a thumbs up, it does help with the uh, YouTube algorithm to get uh, my videos pushed out to the right people. So if you can do that, that would be muchly appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, Krish Maha. Kimi Rishtu. Mash um, Nidin Vlasta. Cheerio. And I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.